So where I'm going to start with this is I run a company who is a partner with Vendasta, um, doing all kinds of awesome things, uh, doing social media marketing, uh, website development, uh, everything that he just said. Uh, there's a few of our people here, Janelle, uh, Glenn is somewhere in the room as well, wandering around. Um, and yeah, we just have fun doing what we do. Uh, I'm going to start off uh, the presentation with the first slide here. Um, and that is work-life balance. Dream big and plan how to make it real. Um, the best way to showcase that is with this tattoo. Uh, this tattoo says, dreams do not lack reality. The full quote is, dreams do not lack, lack reality. They are real patterns of information. That's by a writer named Rich Doyle. Um, what I take from that every single day and remind myself by looking at my forearm is that if I have a dream, all I need to get there is to have a plan and a vision to get there. Um, and that includes things like work-life balance. Um, if your personal life is sucking, your professional life is probably going to suck too. If your professional life is sucking, it's going to overlap into your personal life. So finding a balance to make both of those healthy, um, to make both of those charged with energy, um, should be everybody's goal when it comes to trying to keep winning or to win in the first place. Um, so when you are trying to win, dream really, really big, have lofty goals. If your goal is to have a really fancy sports car or whatever, dream for that, but then come up with a plan to get there and then make sure you come up with a plan for your personal life to make that really cool and exciting to feed into your professional life that ends up getting you down that goal path. And yes, I'm doing a little iPhone thing here. Um, this is a big one that I want to talk about. Uh, the competition, your competition is not your enemy. Um, your competition is always an opportunity to learn an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to measure yourself and see where you're at with things. Um, you can't win if you just do it in a bubble. Um, I've never heard of any kind of a relationship whatsoever that works when it's one person standing in the forest all by themselves. Uh, they're not gonna really learn a lot, they're not gonna grow, they're gonna just sit there with themselves and, and only be able to uh, facilitate what's in their own mindset. Um, if you work with the people that you think are your competition, it's an opportunity to every moment to learn from them, from them, for them to learn from you and for both of you to lift, lift each other up. Um, especially in a community like Saskatoon, it's a small community, it's a small market, it's inevitable that people and their businesses are gonna overlap with one another. Um, even if you are in direct competition, treating each other like that is not gonna get people anywhere. Um, treating each other like you are both in the game together uh, will help everybody win. Um, I have a little example here. And I made sure that it was okay with the Tylers that I talked about this. Um, there's two guys here uh, that run T Squared Social. And while we don't always see eye to eye on ideas, um, we find ways to collaborate. They just ran a great contest, um, getting people to submit photographs. And every day there was a challenge. It encouraged the photographers in the challenge to kind of maybe push themselves outside of their comfort zones, find new ways to do things. Um, and do photography for a specific goal. Um, at the end of it, uh, there was myself and a bunch of photographers and I ended up being one of the winners of the contest. I'm their direct competitor. Um, we didn't treat each other as competitors in that contest. Um, and the end result was getting one of the my photo photographs printed on this wood by the folks at Den Designs. So Aaron brought this here today so that I could see it. And this is a great example of how collaboration can make everybody better. Um, the other day, I had a great meeting with another Vendasta partner about some of the ideas that we have to leverage what Vendasta does to do some cool things. Um, and a lot of the ideas that came from that meeting would never have happened if we weren't on the same page with collaboration um, and willing to work together and come up with those ideas and cultivate um, a great community. Um, yeah, your competition will always help you get better. Um, so looking at it from that perspective uh, is a great way to start. Um, be non-linear. Um, so nonlinear paths is something that I've played with for a lot in life. Um, my education has nothing to do with what I do for a living. Um, so thinking about things uh, from a nonlinear perspective, what I learned in university doesn't necessarily have to apply specifically to what I'm doing for a living. Um, allowed me to be well thought out what I'm doing, but also being super flexible in how I'm going to execute it. Uh, doing what we do uh, for business and marketing, Vendasta doing what Vendasta does, all that requires a whole bunch of planning and a crazy amount of flexibility to change with markets and change with technology and things like that. Um, 
when the economy dries up, you have to be able to be flexible with whatever your business model is to accommodate that, to, to ebb and flow with it, um, and to not let that th kind of thing crush you. Um, if you have lofty goals, you won't get there if you're not flexible in how you're trying to attack getting there. Um, so having a plan is awesome, but having a flexible way of getting there and being okay with switching things up uh, is great. This one is uh, pretty significant. There's the photo that's on the piece of wood, by the way. Um, be realistic, be ready to fail and know that it's okay. Uh, failure isn't a bad thing. Uh, we all do it on a day-to-day -day basis probably. Um, knowing that it's, not, that it's okay to fail is a big part of uh, making failure work for you. Uh, so if you have a client, for example, that you're going after, and for whatever reason, uh, you end up dropping the ball with that client and they go somewhere else and you just lose it outright, it's an opportunity to learn and to grow. It's an opportunity to change what you're doing, adapt, go back to being flexible, um, and grow your business without being ashamed of the fact that you failed in that particular instance. Um, the same thing goes in personal life. If you're trying to win in personal life, expect failure. Expect to run into to big walls that you maybe can't uh, get over the first time around, uh, but you learn from that and you're able to get over it the second time. Um, that's a, a short slide. Uh, the next one, cultivate your tribe. Uh, community, establishing and cultivating your tribe. Um, community is huge. There's Glenn, by the way. Uh, he's the guy with the video camera somewhere in the room. Probably embarrassed. Oh, there he is. <laughs> um, so cultivating your tribe is huge. This is something that I believe in fundamentally. Um, I believe that the people that you work with are part of your tribe. You're in it together. Uh, you're in it to make sure everybody succeeds. Uh, you guys here at Vendasta are here to make sure that everybody at Vendasta succeeds. You're not in it for yourselves. Um, if I want to win, I have to make sure that the people who are, who are working with me want me to win as well. Um, and I have to make sure that I want them to win. It's all about working together and cultivating that, that tribe and that community. Um, we have our office in the 220. The 220 is like a big tribe. It's a whole group of people, some of which are competitors with one another, that work together to make sure everybody is kicking ass. Um, and that's super awesome. Being able to build that community and cultivate that, that tribe is huge. And um, that also means you have to trust people. Um, if you want to win, you need to trust people. You need to be okay with other people supporting you. Um, you can't do it all yourself. And the moment that you realize that, and that it's okay to have somebody else lift you up and support you and provide you with the tools you need to succeed, um, the quicker you're gonna get there. Um, and establishing not only your work community, so that tribe isn't just your work community, that tribe can also be the community that you live in. Um, so the people that are running other businesses in the area, um, community events, um, fundraisers, things that make places like Saskatoon thrive, participating in those things helps you win. Um, as a marketing company, going out and participating in those things gets us exposure. Um, it also makes it so that people in our community in, in my personal life know who I am and appreciate the fact that I'm doing things to help make the community a better place. Um, all those things uh, are going to make you successful in life. The more you contribute to those, the more that you give your time to them, it, it just overflows into all the different areas of your life, business, personal, whatever. Um, and that, folks, is a wrap. I tried to keep that really quick. <laughs>